beautiful people, it's Mika again, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. Um, so today we are looking at the second part of my eco community speed build and I could not be more excited. This build is probably one of the prettiest builds I think I've ever done in my entire life um, and the reception that I've had with it on Twitter has just been super overwhelming as well. You guys agree with me, it's 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 incredibly pretty, very colourful, lots of flowers, which is exactly what you need when you when you're looking at an eco build, right? And um, so there's a few things that I wanted to go through with you today, and um, I will go through them as the video goes along. Um, and one of them is um, talking a little bit more um, in depth with regards to the debug menu and how you guys can use it um, and find the majority of what you see in front of you right now. Um, so the thing is with the debug menu is the more packs that you have, obviously the larger that it's going to be. Um, it's obviously going to have all of the hidden base game items that you might not have access to unless you do this. Um, but depending on what packs you have, you'll get even more. So I've had a particular question come through with regards to the little um, post-it, the little sort of mailboxes um, that are all sort of stacked next to each other. I found this again in the debug menu and I believe it is a um, island living object. So basically there's a few things that you can do to open up your um, debug menu entirely. A couple of tricks that I've learnt um, myself just from trying to get as many things open for me as possible. Um, this, <laughs> Before I go into that though, this is me crazily trying to um, change the wallpaper. Can you remember me saying in the last, um, the last part that I just was not happy with it at all? I thought it looked bland and boring and so grey, like can you remember the wallpaper? Well, I guess you've just seen it, but I hated it, it was awful um, and I'm way happier with the way that it turned out now. I still don't know. I still think there's something missing. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Um, this is going to be a three part speed build. So my next video will be my final one and I cannot wait. There's a few more touch touch the, um, touch ups that I want to do and some other bits and bobs that I'm super excited about. Um, so please do stay tuned for that. Probably be posted next week I would imagine. Um, but yeah, back to the debug menu. So basically, um, there's a couple of ways that you can go around doing it, go about doing it, and I'll tell you first and foremost which one that I do. Um, so in order to, I mean, you could literally put in debug into your um, search bar now, where you can see that I've put debug, you could do the same thing. Um, I'm fairly sure it will bring up a lot for you. I don't know if it'll bring up everything, but it will bring up a lot. So what I do to sort of make sure that I get everything open to me immediately is I utilize my MC command center. Um, so uh, there's a few ways that you guys can access MC command center and I'm fairly sure you guys already know this. Um, but just for those guys that might not know as much about MC command center, it's a phenomenal um, mod. I literally wouldn't have my game without it. Genuinely, I use it so often, it's so handy. Um, so yeah, if you've not got MC Command Center and you're thinking about it, I genuinely think you should go out and download it immediately and pop it into your game. I promise you, you will not regret it. Um, so basically, as I, was, as I was saying, there's a few ways that you can access MC Command Center. Um, you can click on your SIM, and you'll get up a menu there. You can click on your um, post box on your on your plot, and it will bring up a whole new menu. That's generally where I change my seasons. You can also change your worlds your worlds time through your letterbox. Um, if you want a snowstorm, there you go. Use your letterbox. If you want rain, anything like that, seasons, etc. You can change everything from there, as well as a whole host of other things um, to do with either the world or your household. You can control a lot from your letterbox using MC Command Center. Um, now, when it comes to checking out the um, sort of things that I'm going to be talking about and things that are relevant to us for this particular um, video, you're going to need to head on over to a computer 
and access MC Command Center from a computer. It won't work any other way. If you try and access it from your SIM or from um, your post box or anything like that, you're not gonna achieve, um, you're not gonna find the things that you're looking for. So head on over to your computer and um, access MC Command Center from there. And you'll be able to enable um, a variety of different things, uh, a lot of really interesting settings. I've seen a couple of videos that have gone into a lot more detail. This isn't an MC Command Center tutorial, um, and, but I will link down below in my description um, MC Command Center tutorials that I've watched before and found super useful. Um, so yeah, if you access it from your computer, you will actually be able to enable a lot of things. So what I did, just because I love to build and I have to make sure that I um, move objects is on um, I've made it so move object is always on I never have to um, sort of type it into the bar anymore I've also made it so that testing cheats is also enabled all the time so I never have to type in testing cheats on in order to do anything because it's already there for me um, but the most important thing and the thing that we are sort of talking about right now is you can actually um, enable all hidden objects and you can enable all live objects from there as well. So that means that your menu is going to be instantly there as soon as you boot up your game and go into your build mode, everything is there for you. You don't have to do anything else. Now, if you don't want to go the MC Command Center route and you do want to do it um, sort of a little bit more traditionally, it takes a little bit longer. Um, and this is the way that I used to do it before I used MC Command Center and just set it as a rule for everything that I do. Um, you have, I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, this is just from what I found, but I'm pretty sure you have to be in live mode and you have to be using a sim in order to get this um, done. Otherwise, you, otherwise the, the cheats don't work from my experience. I'm probably wrong here, but just from my experience, um, you're going to have to head on over to live mode. So you've got yourself a little sim in your plot, um, whether they are, you know, one of your sims that you just have have to um, tour builds, they're not a sim that you play. Um, I've certainly got sims that I only really put into plots because I need them to be there if I want to change the weather for it. Um, I did that recently with my Shrieking Shack, well my upcoming Shrieking Shack um, speed build. I placed a sim into the world so that I could build in winter time. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to build in winter time and that was the aesthetic that I was looking for. Um, so I'm going to link all, I'm going to add all of these um, cheats that, you, that I'm going to reel off to you right now in the description box below so if you do want to utilize them all you have to do is copy and paste and um, but they are easily available on google as well so if you head into your live mode you've got your sim um, you pop it, you, you've control shift it, see your cheat bar um, and you've typed in testing cheats um, true and then you're going to head on over and um, type in bb dot ignore game play unlocks entitlement so that particular cheat what that does is anything in your um, menu bar that doesn't necessarily have uh, that, that can only be unlocked once your sim has reached a certain career level or has achieved something immediately it, it makes them all um, sort of there for you you can access them straight away which is brilliant um, the next one is bb.show hidden objects um, and once more that's just giving you more things to play with um, and the most important one when it comes to the debug menu as far as I'm aware like I said I might be wrong this is just all from my own experience um, but the next one which is also important probably the most important is bb show live edit objects um, and this is when you're going to have um, a lot of world objects suddenly available in your menu. It's spectacular. When you first load it up, you're like, oh my good lord, I did not realise that I had so much available to me. But like I said in my last video, um, the debug menu... And it's always a good idea that as you're running through your debug menu, if there's any items and objects that you see that you really like, pull it out straight the way. Even if you don't use it, just pull it out straight the way because you... Um, it's, it might be a nightmare to find again but also um, do multiple as well because like I said you can't duplicate um, a, 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 um, a live edit 
object either from the debug menu you can't duplicate them so anyway that's my um i promised a couple of people that i just go through um those details when it comes to how i use the debug menu so there you go and so let's talk a little bit about my actual build i am so obsessed with this little community i cannot wait until it's done and one thing that i wanted to ask you guys i've got a little bit of a favor um as you guys might know, if you do follow me on Twitter, I'm going to have three families inhabit this lot. So I already have one family um, and his name is Finnegan. He is my um, archaeologist who um, is also, he is the guy that you that I told you about, um, I, I've told you about on, on Twitter and I'm sure I went through some of his details on my most recent um, video when I'm kind of going through ter the terrain tool with you guys. Um, he's adorable, he's an archaeologist like I said and he's a bit of an eco warrior. So he is going to be one of the families that I move in here. But I want two other families in this plot and I've not made any sims specifically because I want you guys to make those families for me. So we're going to go with the whole eight sims to the plot just because I don't think my laptop could handle any other um, but Finnegan is his own family so he is going to live here by himself which frees up seven other spaces for families. So, you know, you could have a mum and a dad and a kid, and um, you could have a mum and a mum, a dad and a dad. Literally, I would love to have variety. Um, whoever it is that you want to create, I'd love for them to have a backstory if you can. If not, don't worry about it. Um, but I would absolutely love it if you guys could make me some families so that I can add them into my community lot. So um, I will be sorting out a hashtag, etc so as we can pop it on and the gallery and we all know what we're doing and what we're looking for um, and I'll be sorting that out once I finish this speed build and I'll be putting all details on Twitter um, but yeah if you guys did want to create any families for me I would absolutely love that like I said I'm looking for two more families and I've got seven spaces left so absolutely go wild and um, I would love it and um, so this video sees me putting some things in place and um, so I've briefly done the little sort of trading market area that I initially told you guys about in the first video um, and I've initially put down some of the roots when it comes to the sort of the the spot where they're going to be growing their vegetables and growing their fruits and um, harvesting their honey and things like that um, so this is just me putting down the bare bones of what I want to do so in my next video I'm going to look at detailing everything um, there's also going to be a children's playground that I'm going to be adding in here and um, then I'm just going to see what room I have left and what sort of inspires me to add it to be honest with you um, but yeah please do let me know in the comments down below is there anything that you would like like to see in this um, speed build because like I said I have not finished it yet my next video will be finishing it off and um, but if there's anything that you would like me to sort of add to this little eco community anything that you can think of that would make a lot of sense for this kind of build and the people that are going to be um, sort of living here please do let me know I would absolutely love your thoughts on that matter um, but yeah so this is where all of the little sims are going to be growing their vegetables and growing their um fruits and bits and bobs and as you can see i've got my paint tool out again i wanted to really try and leave the paint until the absolute end i couldn't do it guys i couldn't do it it was the vegetable patches as soon as i saw them i was just like oh they would look so much better if they had just a little bit of dirt paint so as soon as I did that, well, I kind of lost the plot and I was like, oh my goodness, I've not even done the lake yet. How have I not painted the little sort of lake yet? So yeah, trust me, there's going to be a hell of a lot more um, paint going into this plot by the end of it. This is just the initial little bits and bobs. Um, but yeah. I've absolutely loved doing it so far and I just want to say thank you to everybody that has also you know encouraged this build that has uh, been following it on Twitter that watched my first video um, I'm just so overwhelmed with the amount of support that this build has received and I, I literally I couldn't be more thankful and um, so I am planning a, a let's play with this little community and the families that you're going to be giving me and I'm so excited about it I have no idea what yet 
um, I'm gonna once I've finished it and I know exactly what it is that I'm gonna be working with I'm gonna have a good old think um, but yeah it's definitely something that I am super excited about and I think it's a good way to introduce one of my big future characters which is the gorgeous Finnegan and um, he is going to play a very important role in future events in my little sim world I'm saying no more but I'm just going to tell you now he is very important um, to my sim to, to my sims to the storylines that I've been doing he's got a lot to come um, but yeah thank you so much for watching guys um, I appreciate you massively um, do subscribe and like if you did enjoy and I shall see you next time take care guys bye